Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and in this video we'll talk about how can we upload a project from Eclipse to GitHub. Now of course when you have an Eclipse project there are two ways of uploading it. One is the standard way using a command line. So if you use terminal or command line what you can do is you can write some commands and you can push this project on the GitHub server provided you have a repository there. Otherwise we can use Eclipse now which is an easy way. You can use an Eclipse to push your project directly to GitHub. Now, of course, to understand this video, you need to have some basics of Git, what, it, what exactly Git is and what is GitHub. But if you know it, you can go with the video, otherwise you have to watch my previous videos on GitHub. Now, what we will do is, we'll try to push this project. We have a project called as my code in which I have two files. One is alien and calculator, it doesn't matter how much code you have. I also have a text file just to show you, we can also upload a text file. I want to upload this project on GitHub. Step one would be, of course, you need to have a GitHub account. And I do have a GitHub account, so it's a free account. Uh, the only thing is, if you want a GitHub account which is public, it's free. But if you want a private repository, uh, then you have to pay for it. Then public is fine for us. Now, if you can see, I have a GitHub, uh, GitHub, reposit uh, Git GitHub account. In GitHub, you create different repositories for different things. Example, I do have some dummy uh, repositories here. I have some, uh, I was doing some live project there. Uh, so I, I have my own repositories here. Now this the step would be, of course, you need to have a repository, your own repository. And the way you can do that is by clicking on this new button. When you click on new, I will upload this project on a repository which is called as Flash. Now Flash is basically my batch name. So I'm taking online courses where you have a batch called as Flash. So I'm doing it for them. So we have a Flash as a, as a batch, as a repository name. You can have any repository name, doesn't matter. You can use Flash, you can see ABC, you can say PQ, PQ, it doesn't matter. And you have to save select public, of course. And then uh, why public is because uh, it's free. <laughs> Otherwise, when you click on private, you have to pay for it. And then uh, we'll click on create repository and you got your repository here. Now in this repository, again, you can follow the instruction if you want to do it in command line. Uh, otherwise, you just have to remember this this link. You can, in fact, you can copy this link and you can have it you. So copy this link. We will use this link in the in the subsequent st step. Now, once you've got this li uh, link with you, this is the main uh, repository link you have. You can see we have got flash .get. Now, once you have this link with you, let's go back to Eclipse. Now, in our Eclipse, or before that, I just want to verify one more thing. If I click on this flash now, you can see this repository is empty. Uh, you, you don't have any repositories here. Uh, sorry, uh, the, the projects here. Now what I will do is, in, I'm in my Eclipse, I will try to push this project. Now the step would be, right click on the project first and there's an option of team. Now in this team, you have to first of all, share this project. So of course you need to share this project in order to upload it on GitHub. Now when you share, you have to first push this project on your local rep Git repository. And if you have installed Git, that's great. Otherwise, you have to follow the steps. Uh, luckily, if you are using Mac, we, we by default have a Git installed. Uh, if you are using Windows, then of course, you have to install Git. Uh, so th there's a different procedure to how to install Git. Okay, now once you have here, once you come here, when you say create repository, this is, a for, this is for local one. And I can select my own repositories here or we can create a repository. I can say this is for, so this, so it will, so this will create a local repository for me. I will say my repository name is Flash. Again, it's not compulsory to have that name, but then that's fine. You, you can have the same name on the local and the server. You can have a different name, this doesn't matter. Click on finish and we got a local repository. This, this, is, this is a local repository for me. And nothing to mention here, click on finish. Now we got our repository. Now, but this will be a local repository. Okay. Now, how do we know that's a local repository? Uh, how do you know that it is shared? You can see we got this no head thing and you can see this question mark. That means your, your code is not committed yet. So first you have to commit your project in the local one. And the, the way you can do that is by saying team, there's option of commit and you have to select all the files which you want to commit. Again, uh, normally we don't push all the files, but then that's fine. For the example, we can do that. I can say first commit uh, uploading all the files all files now you might be thinking by doing this will it be uploaded on server of course not so if I click on commit and push okay now it is asking you for the remote one is it remote one yeah so when you click on push it will ask you for the remote one okay now we have a remote repository 
uh, and then we can see we got remote repository here we, we're getting a name of the url and then i already have a github account here which is navin ready and i have set up my password also you might not get this step again if you have not got this window don't worry i will show you the other way around if you're not getting this way and if you if you got this window great you can simply click on next and you have to select the master branch if it is already there and click on next and it should push otherwise we'll do another step uh, if i click on finish it is pushing now it is pushing all the files and yes you can see that it is pushing the new repository and click on ok i guess it is pushed let's verify let's refresh this thing and can you see that we got all our files here you got your my code as the folder and you can see we got all our files here now in case if you have not get, got that window or finally we can have a round of applause that we have completed the first first commit uh, but then if you have not got the uh, got the option what you can do is you can push on the local repository you might not have connected your uh, local repository with the server in that case what you do is you have to right click here and you have to say team and there's option of show in repository view in case it is not working for you okay otherwise it is good to go in this you have to create a remote one luckily I, my machine was connected before with the server in this case you have to click on remote you have to click on create repository create remote because you are not connected yet in which you can mention the name of the repository as flash or anything you can say remote flash you can click on ok and here you have to click on change where you will mention your server uh, your repository link remember that li link we have worked with you have to paste it here uh, with the username and password of course uh, and then click on finish and we are good to go save and push it will work for you right the same thing so this is the second step you have to do in case if the, if the first step, if the, if the first step doesn't work so that's how you upload a project from a local repository to this remote repository now we can have one more project here we can create a dummy project here we can say uh, maybe any project maybe a web project will also do we'll say this is a a a and click on finish and if i want to push this one of course this is empty now but we can create files and we can put the files there if i want to push this project it's very easy now just say right click team share project let's, just to recap these steps uh, again i can use the same uh, local repository if you have and then click on finish now this is done in the local one if you want to push it on server we'll say team commit uh, we'll select all the files you can have any comment click on push commit and it should be done so you can upload multiple projects not that you have to create you have to push only one project you can have multiple projects in your repository and you can see if i go to flash we got two two projects here you can make the changes and you can push here and that's how you upload it on github it's that easy right so that's it from this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos, do subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.